lo que na, lo que era chivana. Aha prabhu guru doyo deho mori paja chayo. Ebe jasa guso tripuana. Ebe jasa guso tripuana. Jaya Prabhu Pada 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 Namavo Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prestaya Bhutale Shriva Devakti Vedanda Sami Niti Nami De Namaste Saraswati Devi Gauravani Prachari De Nirvasesa Sundabadi Pachachari Satari De Jaya Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nitananda Sri Adaita Sagarara Siva Shodhi Oh Bhakta Vita Jaya Oh, 
Mitai Gorango, Mitai Gorango, Mitai Gorango, Gora Hari. Gora, 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 Gora Hari. Gora, 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 Hare. Nitai Gora, Ingo, Nitai Gora, Ingo, Nitai Gora, Ingo, Gora, Hare. Jai Satinanda, no Jai Satinanda, no Satinanda, no Gora Hari. Jai Satinanda, no Jai Satinanda, no Jai Satinanda, no Gora Hari.
गुरु बुज की Shelter at your lotus feet. Srila Prabhupada ki jai. Cartels, where the cartels, small cartels. Oh, cartel, cartel. Where the small cartels? Here is the Huh? You got them? Okay, thank you. Not so small. Got the songbook? Got your songbook? Vibhavari Shesha Bhakti Vinod Thakur Jai 
Vibhavari Sisha Haloka Provesha Nidratari Uta Jeeva Vibhavari Sisha Haloka Provesha Nidra Chari Uta Jeeva Bolo Hari Hari Mokonda Morari Rama Krishna Hoya Jeeva Bolo Hari Hari, Mokunda Morari, Rama Krishna Hari Hari, Bolo Hari Hari, Nasimhavamana Rajendra Nanda Nashama Bhutana Jasana Kaisa Bhashasana Jaya Jasarati Rama Sanagatana Kaita Bhatatana Jaya Jasarati Rama Yashoda Jula Lao Govinda Gopala Vrindavana Purandara Yashoda Jula Lao Govinda Gopala Vrindavana Purandara Gopi Priya Janna Radhika Ramana Bhuvana Sundara Bhoda Gopi Priya Janna Radhika Ramana Uvana Sundara Bhoda Ravana Tato Rama Tana Tashara Gopi Jana Vashrahari Ravana Tato Rama Tana Tashara Gopi Jana Vashrahari Gopi 
Yamuna Jeevana Kheli Parayana Manasa Chandra Chakora Yamuna Jeevana Kheli Parayana Manasa Chandra Chakora Namashura Ras Go Krishna Yas Rako Vasana Manna Mohora Namashura Ras Go Krishna Yas Rako Vasana Manna Mohora Vai se shalo kaprovesha nidra chare utati va Bolo hari hari mokunda mokari Rama Krishna Hayati Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya 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 Om Namo Narayanam Namaskrityam Narayanam Namaskrityam Naram Chaiva Narotamam Naram Chaiva Narotamam Daivim Sarasatim Vyasam Daivim Sarasatim Vyasam Tato Jaya Mudhiraya Tato Jaya Mudhiraya 
Nasta prayeshu vabhadreshu Nasta prayeshu vabhadreshu Nityam bhagavata sevaya Nityam bhagavata sevaya Bhagavati uttama shloke Bhagavati uttama shloke Bhaktir bhavati naistiki Bhaktir bhavati naistiki so the eighth canto, Srimad Bhagavatam, gives us the pastime of Gajendra and how Gajendra was saved from the crocodile. The crocodile represents time and we all need to be aware of time. Time. Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita, Kalosmin, Kalosmin, that I am time, time I am, destroyer of the world and I come to claim all people. And so Lord Krishna was telling the Pandavas that actually he said after this Kurukshetra war is over, you will be the only ones to survive. Everyone else is going to be killed by the force of time. So Krishna is so powerful, comes in the form of time. So similarly time came to Gajendra. Gajendra was no ordinary elephant, he was the king of elephants. And he wasn't on this planet but he was on one of the higher planets, a very heavenly planet. And in his elephant body, he was enjoying. He had many queens and he had many offspring. And this way he was enjoying having his big family, all of his associates. So Gajendra was com was very happy, very comfortable and they went to bathe in one lake and it was very pleasing for them. Just like sometimes we go to bathe in the lake, we went to a retreat a couple of weeks back. We went to the bamboo forest at Taiping and there was a waterfall there and it was very hot. So we were all bathing in the water, it was very refreshing. Here in Malaysia there's a number of waterfalls and people like to go and bathe in the waterfall, they feel refreshed from the, the heat of the tropics here. So similarly Gajendra was enjoying, thinking he was enjoying and the elephants they like to bathe and they will throw water on each other with their trunks, they will throw water onto the other person, sometimes they will throw the water onto themselves. And Gajendra as the head of his family, the herd of elephants, he would throw water on all the other elephants and in this way they would all be enjoying the tropical atmosphere, the heavenly pleasure. But then suddenly, unexpectedly, a crocodile came and that crocodile, we said that is time, just like time comes upon all of us unexpectedly. We're not aware, we're not thinking about time. We don't notice the days passing. We don't notice the days becoming years and the years becoming decades. And in this way time is passing and it's devouring all of us. Of course, Srimad Bhagavatam says, 
devours everyone except for those who are engaged in hearing the glories of the Lord. Ayur Hariti Bhai Pumsam Sajjan Asan Chayan Asao Srimad Bhagavatam uh, Second Canto Chapter Number 3 describes like that. Ayur Hariti Bhai Pumsam As the sun is rising, just like we were singing, Vibhavarishesha Aloka Pravesha time to wake up, the sun is rising, the day is beginning, we should get up and chant the holy names of the Lord. So Srimad Bhagavatam, <coughs> Srimad Bhagavatam also describes how the sun is rising and it's taking away the duration of life. As the sun is rising, our duration of life is being reduced. Of, if we are not engaged in the service of the Lord, then that will certainly happen. But if we keep ourselves always busy in the service of the Lord, then we can overcome time. So Gajendra was caught by the crocodile. He was caught in the grips of the crocodile. And the nature of that crocodile is when he gets a hold of something, he doesn't let go. His jaws are very strong. He's got that big mouth and he's got these sharp teeth and, and it just comes and claps on something. <coughs> just, just like Yeah, heavy rain yesterday. Hare Krishna Maharaj. Hare Krishna. Thank you, Prabhu. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Huh? So the Kachendra was fighting with the crocodile and the crocodile would not let go. And because they were fighting in the water, the crocodile was becoming stronger and stronger. And Gajendra, the elephant, was becoming weaker and weaker. And Gajendra had all of his family there and none of them could help him. His wives and his children, they were all crying and they were pleading, let go, let go, let our father go. But the crocodile was holding 
the leg of Gajendra and Gajendra could not get out from the water. So Gajendra was getting weak and weak because the water is not his home. Just like we like to go in the water, you go and bathe in the water, but how long can you stay in the water? It's not our home, it's not natural. So we go into the water, we enjoy for some time and then we come out. So Gajendra, he was in the water and he could not get out because the crocodile was holding his leg. So that crocodile was very powerful. Just like time is so powerful, we cannot overcome time. We try to get free of the effects of time. But we cannot because time is supreme. Time is Krishna. Krishna says, time I am and I come to claim all people. So the crocodile would not let go of Gajendra but Gajendra, oh, thank you. Gajendra, Gajendra had somehow he remembered a mantra which he'd learned in his previous life. He'd learned to pray. He'd learned to pray just like. You know, we learn things maybe in our childhood, we learn something, maybe as children we go to temple and we pray. Sometimes you go to other places, you may go to church, may go to mosque, whatever, people pray, right? They go to the mosque. They pray, Muslim they pray five times a day. Christian will pray, at least if they're Christian they go on Sunday usually. They pray when they go to church. So go to temple also, we offer prayers. So this Gajendra, he could remember a prayer which he had learned when he was in a, another body. When he was in another body, he had remembered a prayer from that time. And he, he recited that prayer. And because he was reciting that prayer, the result was Lord Vishnu appeared and Lord Vishnu appeared the Lord Vishnu comes with four arms. One hand has the Sudarsan Chakra, another hand has the club, another hand has the lotus flower and another hand has the conch shell. So Lord Vishnu came and he used the Sudarsan Chakra and he cut the crocodile. He cut the throat of the crocodile and in this way Gajendra could get free. There was no other way he could get free. So this way Gajendra got free from the crocodile of time by the power of the Sudarsan Chakra of Lord Vishnu, Sudarshan, Sudarshan, Darshan means to see, 
and su means auspicious. So, so to see something which is auspicious, that is the chakra of Lord Vishnu. For the devotees, there is the, co the, 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 there is the conch shell and there is the lotus flower. And for the demons, there is the club and there is the Sudarshan chakra. So the devotees, they get pleasure from seeing the Lord and the Lord likes to give pleasure to his devotees. So he will offer the lotus flower and he will blow his conch shell, they will hear the transcendental sound of his conch shell and they can smell the aroma from the lotus flower. In this way, the, the devotees increase their devotion and their love for Lord Vishnu. And for the demons, <coughs> for the demons, the Lord has his club, Komadaki club, and also his Sudarshan chakra. Sometimes he will smash the skulls with the club and other times he will cut the throat with the chakra. So Lord Krishna shows his kindness to the demons by freeing them from the material body. When he kills the demons then they are liberated because they get killed by Lord Vishnu. So, when they are killed by Lord Vishnu, they go to the spiritual world. They enter into the Brahma Jyoti. And they go to the Brahman and they, they live there. So that, that is the kindness of the Lord. When he kills the demons, he liberates them. And for the devotees, the devotees, they don't have any material desire. Just like Lord Vishnu came and he killed the crocodile. So the crocodile got liberated. But Gajendra, he has to stay here. So he, so he, he was not happy. He prayed to the Lord, he said, you know, I prayed for you. I prayed for you and you liberated him and I'm still here. You know, you should be kind to me. You should, I was the one who brought you here. Why you liberate him and not me? But the Lord said, well, he got liberated because he took shelter of your feet. You're a devotee and the crocodile was holding your feet. So that qualified him for liberation. Not just me killing him, but because he took shelter of the feet of a devotee. Therefore he was able to get liberation. So taking shelter of the feet of a devotee, very powerful. Just like we worship the spiritual teacher, we worship Prabhupada, Guru Mukha Padma Vakya, the lotus feet of our spiritual master are the only way by which we can attain pure devotional service. So the crocodile could, took shelter of the lotus feet of Gajendra and Gajendra prayed to the Lord and the Lord came and liberated the, liberated the crocodile. So Gajendra is the example of somebody in distress. In the Bhagavad Gita, Krishna describes four different kinds of people who surrender to him. Right? Do you know this verse? 
Saki Braja. Yes? You know the verse in the Bhagavad Gita? Four kinds of people who surrender to Krishna. You don't remember? You studied the Bhagavad Gita? You studied Bhakti Shastri? Four people, four different reasons why people come and surrender to Krishna. Chatur Vida Bhajantimam Jnana Sukriti no Arjuna. You know? Arto Jignasur Artarti Jnani Cha Bharatashaba. Now you know? Yes? What are the four people? The one who is in distress, yes. the one who wants material wealth, the one who wants knowledge. One who is curious. So these kind of, these four people, they're not pure devotees, but they've approached Krishna. So which of the four kind of people is Gajendra? Which category does he come in? Distress. Distress, yes. Gajendra was in distress, the elephant was in distress and he approached Lord Vishnu and Lord Vishnu appeared and took away the distress. So that when we, when we come to Krishna, when we come to Vish, uh, Krishna consciousness, many people come in distress, but not happy. This is the material world. So material world, it's not a happy place. In the Bhagavad Gita, Lord Krishna describes Abrahma Bhuvanaloka Punar Avartano Arjuna Mamu Paichak Tukontiya Punar Janma Navijati. From the highest planet of Brahma down to the lowest, all are Yes? All are? Yeah. yeah, all are places of birth and death. Right. From the highest planet, even Brahma, up in the top of the universe, down to the lowest, Sutala Loka, or where the hellish planets are. They're all temporary places of birth and death. So, Lord Krishna is describing the nature of the material world. It is not nitya, it is anitya, it is temporary. And it is not sukha, it is dukkha. It is not happiness, it is distress. And it is not full of knowledge, it is not all jnan. But it's agyan, ignorance. The material world is full of ignorance and suffering. So people are encouraged to not stay here in this world, but to get out, get, to get free from this world. Because this is the world of birth, and death, right? People all have to die. Everybody is going to die one day. So we want to understand the nature of this world, that it is temporary, it is not joyful, it is miserable and it is full of ignorance. But we can come out of the ignorance, we should come out of the ignorance. Just like the Vedas say, tamasima jyotirgama, 
don't stay in the dark, come to the light. Just like if you go in the forest, it's very dark because the trees are so tall, you don't get the light, you don't get the heat, you don't get the rays of the sun. But if you come out of the forest, then you come into the light. So the forest is like the, the forest of material enjoyment. People are trying to enjoy the material world. They're trying to enjoy eating, sleeping, mating and defending. And they are thinking this is happiness. So that is like the animal just like Gajendra was an animal and he was trying to enjoy. But he didn't get enjoyment, he got distracted, he got so much trouble. But he was fortunate, he could approach the Supreme Lord. By his prayer, the Lord came and delivered him from his distress. So the same way we are all reminded we should pray to the Lord and He will protect us from the distress of the material world. We just have to take shelter. And how do we take shelter? By chanting the holy name, by calling the, the Lord, by loud chanting of the holy name. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. So Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has taught everyone that they should chant the holy name. And we are also trying to chant the holy name. We want to try to chant the name with love with feeling from the heart. And certainly if we call loudly, Krishna will hear us and he will come. And just like Advaita Acharya, he was chanting, he was calling to the Lord, please come, please come. Advaita Acharya was calling to the Lord, please you come, you have to come and save us. Yeah, I cannot save anyone, you have to come yourself. And because Advaita was calling so loud, he woke up Lord Vishnu and Lord Vishnu came. And he came as Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to give everyone the holy name. So this was the mercy of Advaita Acharya. He brought Chaitanya Mahaprabhu here, he brought the chanting of the holy name here and he brought love of God here because the Lord comes to distribute Krishna Prem to everyone. So who wants Krishna Prem? You want Krishna Prem? You're thinking about it, right? <laughs> we have to be greedy, we have to want to get love of Krishna. You have to be greedy. You want it so badly that you will cry to get it. Just like when we are children and we want something, we have to cry sometimes to get it. So we have to cry to get Krishna. When we have that qualification, then Krishna will come. Krishna will take us. All right? Okay, any question? Yes? You have a question, Saki Braja? Hari Priya? Nitai Priya? When we, before we start 
Shall we pray? Shall we pray? Shall we pray? Before we start chanting, how shall we pray? What is the good of our prayer? Or when we meet the when we take darshan in the morning and we pray, how shall we pray? What should I say? We should pray. If you want to pray like Lord Chaitanya, just like we say the Sheikh Shastikam prayers. So that's Lord Chaitanya's prayer that I don't want wealth, I don't want followers or fame, I only want devotional service, birth after birth. So Lord Chaitanya doesn't even pray to Krishna to take me out of the material world. He just says, I just want service. Give me devotional service, birth after birth. So that is the mood of the pure devotee. But we can also pray to Krishna, even you have all material desires. You may say, I want money. You may say, I want fame. I want success. Pray to Krishna. Don't pray to anyone else, just pray to Krishna. And Krishna will know if it's good for you or not. Krishna will consider, should I give him this or not? Krishna will decide. You want it? Okay, you pray to Krishna. Srimad Bhagavatam says, Akama sarva kamo va moksha kama udaradi Tivrena bhakti yogena yajeta purusham param. If you have all material desires or no material desires or desire liberties, but still you should worship the Supreme Lord Krishna and ask Him. Sometimes people think, oh no, I'm not pure, so I shouldn't pray. No, you should. Even though we're not pure, even though we have material desires, we should approach the Lord to fulfill our material desires. Don't ask anybody else. And how to pray? Just talk to him like a person, just like you talk to your father. You tell your father, Father, I, you know, I want this, can you get me that, can you do this for me, you know, right? When you want something, you know how to be nice to your father, right? You'll be nice, my dear father, you're so nice, you're such a good father, I love you so much, I'm so lucky, you're such a good father, I just want you to get me this, uh, right? And you tell him what you want. So you have to know how to talk. So, Krishna is in your heart. Krishna will guide you. But you can also chant the Lord's holy name. You're going to pray to Him, you chant the holy name. By chanting His holy name, you can pray to Him. Just like we chant Hare Krishna mantra. So Hare Krishna mantra is a prayer. It's a prayer, right? What's the meaning of the prayer? Right? You're chanting Hare Krishna. What? Huh? Yeah? Yeah? Yes, right. Please engage me in your service. So that's a prayer to Krishna to, to, to get service. O Supreme Lord Krishna, O Supreme Lord Rama, O energy of the Lord Hari, Please engage me in your service. Please accept me. Please give me the strength to serve you. So like that we, we, we are chanting Hare Krishna mantra and it's a prayer and it's also the answer to the prayer. Because by chanting that mantra we're doing service for Krishna. So that's the, the beauty of the Maha Mantra.
that is both a prayer and it's the answer to the prayer that Krishna is giving us devotional service. Mm. So we want to take advantage. So the devotional service Maharaj is higher than uh, chanting? Chanting is devotional service. If we do it in the proper way, the chanting should be done for the pleasure of Krishna. We do it for His, to please Him. Just like when we do Sankirtan, we're doing it for the pleasure of Krishna. Of course, by pleasing Krishna, we also feel happy. It's natural. You feel happy. So the same way, we want to please Krishna, chant His holy name. It's Krishna is happy when we are chanting His name. He thinks, oh they are chanting my name. Krishna feels happiness. And because Krishna, because Krishna is happy, we also become happy. Because Krishna is in everyone's heart. So not only do we become happy, but everyone becomes happy. The whole world becomes joyful by the chanting of the holy name. So chanting of the holy name is service to Krishna, it is devotion. But we have to chant, try to chant purely. There is devotional service in goodness, in passion and in ignorance. So that's the devotion which is influenced by the material energy. We want to have pure devotion. We want devotion which is above the material nature. Then we can really please Krishna. We have to come to that level. We have to get free of ignorance, come up to passion. From passion get up to goodness and then from goodness go on to pure goodness. That's is Krishna conscious, yes? Sometimes while well, you're still busy with material life and you have spiritual life, and in spiritual life that you do, when you're doing chanting, you, have, you become more peaceful, you become more submissive, submissive. Then after, after nine o'clock, you have to become <laughs> less submissive because you're we're doing material work, so we have a little bit more. Otherwise, we get bullied. Otherwise, you get what? Bullied. Bullied. So, so I find it very difficult to engage and so to balance this character. Yes. For the purpose of spiritual life and material life. Yes. Ex externally, you may put on that show. Just like there was a snake became the devotee. The snake became a devotee of Narada Muni. And so Narada Muni said, now you cannot bite anybody. You're a, you, you're a devotee now, so no more biting people. So the snake said, all right. So he didn't bite people, but then all the children saw the snake doesn't bite. So they began to tease the snake and bully the snakes. So the snake came to Narada Muni and complained, he said, you know, you told me I can't bite anybody, but they're all bullying me, they're, they're treating, they're giving me a hard time, what should I do? So Narada Muni said, well, I said you couldn't bite, but I never said you couldn't show your teeth. <laughs> so just pretend you're going to bite. Like, so like that, you have to work in the material world, you don't want to be bullied. So sometimes you have to show your teeth, you know, you have to be a little, yeah, <laughs> be strong, don't let them push you around, you know, try to be careful, but, but don't bite. Okay, yes? 
before we become TOD, I don't want people like myself. It's a normal person. How, what's the process? How we can become a TOD? This is an arranged in the sense of procedure. Because the only people who won't go and look for Krishna or look for any religion. You see, we just follow the family. But you become a devotee because you get contact with a devotee. You met a devotee. Somehow you met a devotee and you got some blessing. They give you some prasadam or something. Just like in your home, they used to have the, they would have the, the meeting every Friday in your house. And you would be there, so you would see the devotees, they're coming to your house and they're speaking about Krishna. So you were there, so naturally you would hear what was going on. So if, if they say the people get no chance to meet devotees, they never meet devotees in this life, so they won't get any chance to go back to okay. it. Well, everybody gets time, you know, there's always time, some time, they're not working all the time. Everybody has got some time, the, the time to go home, time to rest, time to eat, time to sleep, so yeah. The people say, I have no time. Okay, if you have no time, then Krishna has no time for you because you have no time for Krishna, so Krishna doesn't take interest in you. That's natural. If you don't want to go back to Godhead, Krishna won't force you to go back. It's up to you. What do you want to do? You want to stay here and work in the factory every day? Do you want to stay here in the material world, taking another body? Now you have the human body, but next life you don't know where you will be. So you have no time, but still time is there. Time is affecting you. You say you have no time, but time is taking hold of you. Time is forcing you to work, time is forcing you to become old, time is forcing you to die. You can't, you can't say, I have no time. I have no time, I have no time to die. No, everybody, you have to die. Time will come and take you. What can be done? Right? So it's, it's up to you. How you, it's up to you what you, how you decide what you want to do. <coughs> we don't force anyone, everyone's got free will. Woman不能唱破他们,你一定要逃避Krishna。每一个人都有自由,我们不能唱破他们自己决定做什么。你想逃避无知世界,啊,即使你自己做,逃避无知世界,接受痛苦,接受老病死。
Krishna and by Krishna gave woman to you. Woman ke shenjer links in the shangha and ruga woman bu yao links in the shangha woman she out uja the shangha. Jigish woman de zi yo woman ke shenjer links in the I said uja the nije the uja the shenjer ma woman sure she tuan janda. Ah,有什么分别啊？我们我们相信有神，我们相信有神，有神存在。嗯，我们不是神，我们也不可以称为神。我们用神的地位是仆人。Shen Shen Ju Ren, Wama Shen Pu Ren. Jidu Jiao Bu Yang Ah. Hey, Jidu Jiao Bu Shang Sen Yo Lun Wei. Jidu Jiao Bu Chu Su. Taman Bu Shang Sen Yo Lun Wei. Taman Bu Liao Ji Ling Huan. Yeah,你需要。你需要。你需要。你需要。你需要。你需要。你需要。你需要。你需要。你需要。你需要。你需要。你需要。你需要。你需要。你需要。你需要。你需要。你需要。你需要。你需要。你需要。你需要。你需要
时间问题，所以现在很难讲。师父说，出家众的对象是苦难众生，所以他的念头一直要停留在这个物质世界，重复在这边去帮助苦难的众生，这样是完美吗？他生生世世想在这个物质世界打开他们的心啊，为什么你会痛苦？在出世，我是追求这个原因的。为什么你会这么痛苦啊？痛苦在什么地方啊？要把这个原因找出来吗？是要传达的是吧？只是要救这个人呐。啊，他要在这边，啊，他要在这边救这个人，得救人，得救人，他讲。嗯。他可以吗？他必须拿不一样。不一样的。他假如在这边去救其他的众生。哦、oh. oh. ，哦，不能接受接受，尽量救其他的人。也也，哦这样，给给这，你想帮助其他的人，帮他们去什么地方？就是说，你为什么会有这么多烦恼？为什么会有这么多痛苦？是什么原因产生的呢？我们就是要开解解决。所以我们认为，第一部分你是尽了解自己是谁，应该了解我们不是这个身体，我们也不是这个心意。我们都是什么？我们都是灵魂。灵魂也是 Krishna 的一部分。啊啊啊啊啊啊你知道戒对真理是什么？戒对真理是什么？啊？是空，没有一个东西啊！啊，你认为都是空？对，我们是空，我们不是空，不是我们空，虽然空叫做，空的地方是叫做，我们是叫做，虽然一切都是假象，空那个地方，我们还是叫做，我们还是叫做的，不是空，不是空的，不是空的，空的地方，没有空的地方，没有空的地方，空是没假象的，空的地方就是你的。我们去找他。哦 ，OK。还有一个问题